What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm your average roofer and today we're going to be going over my truck setup and I know this has been a long time coming. I've had this plan for months now. I've just never gotten around to it but uh, I'm going to strap you guys on my head and we're going to go through the truck and I'm going to show you my whole setup. Peasant out, Pluto. She said she don't get the game. I said it's better than love. Love leave a nigga broke and hurt. See, you can make money with Bud. You can't buy a crib with a hug. Being broke make them think you a dub. And little baby ain't fucking with scrubs. Securing herself in some financial trust. Ay, but tricking is tricky, cause bitches be tripping and picky. Don't ask a Diddy when I'm on my luck and then get in my face when I'm balling like Diddy. You cannot partake in eating my pie if you ain't make that shit with me. My palms is itching, itching. What a feeling to get this commission. I told my homies that it's time to get it. Let's get it. Let's get down to business and live it. Invest in success for a living. Get the skrilla, watch them call you a villain. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go around the truck. Um, just so you guys can see what's going on um, with logo wise um, Right now. I only have my website there at the bottom I got my logo there with my phone number and my phone number here as well um, The reason I wanted to go here first is because this logo is actually going to disappear and it's going to be put down there Phone numbers already on the back uh, We got some new logos. This whole truck's gonna change here very shortly um, as you can see, there's gonna be a logo on the windshield. There's nothing there yet But I'm doing what I have as a setup for now as you can see the trucks very dirty I didn't want to clean it. I don't want you guys thinking I'm faking this video. This is how I drive it around daily uh, Usually I like to have it cleaner than that, but that's where it is right now um, As for the back you can see it's a mess right now. Uh, I didn't clean anything for this video I just wanted to show you guys exactly what my truck looks like all the time So these lids are actually for all these bins they're not on there because as you can see all the bins are completely full so we're just gonna set them aside for now but what we got in the back of my truck obviously some garbage uh that was a small fascia job we did um so i had some waste on it and i didn't have a chance to go to the dump but big news coming soon because that garbage will no longer be in my truck in the weeks to come as you guys can probably figure out you know what's going to happen but i'm not going to announce it yet anyways guys Got my pitch hopper in here. I got some shingles. I always have shingles. The reason I always have shingles is because you never know uh, when you're gonna run short or you're gonna have starters or you're gonna get called out to do a repair uh, real quick in the pouring rain and you have to have some kind of shingles with you to repair a roof. Uh, I also got a roll of underlayment in here at all times. Like I said, here's that fascia job I did, drip edge. Uh, that's just extra from a job site come up here I got your basic tools your pouch which is right on the side which is easily accessible um, I got a bunch of new stuff that prime mine tools uh, sent me that I haven't actually opened yet uh, knee pads which I wear every single day just for comfort um, I like the green ones more than the black ones the reason why is you can see on the black ones here there's no notch out for the knee when you stand up, that puts pressure against your knee. The green ones are way nicer for that. And the green ones actually also come with the knee pit savers, which go on the back. Mine fell off, I don't know where I put them. But um, there's another set of green pads there. So I have lots of knee pads. Bag here. Open it up. This is mostly hand tools, knives, stuff like that. There's a, another pack of the knee pit savers. A little bit of garbage. New pair of snips. There's a bunch of knives in here, a couple of ratchet straps, just your basic, what you need in a roofing truck. I got my caulking gun here. I always keep a plastic bag on it. That way um, you don't get caulking all over your truck. Just makes sense. I'm not gonna pull all this stuff out. This white bag here is just my drills. Um, just cause you need drills. This bin's pretty standard. Uh, this is my roofing nailer. The reason I keep it in here is to keep some of the dust and debris off it, especially when you're throwing garbage around your truck like I have been. You don't want to get garbage all over your gun, which you can see there's already a bunch on here. Um, but I keep my nailer there so it stays protected. And then this bin here in the middle is pretty much, I got hoses, got my splitter, the saws in the way, 
Uh, this bag here is all my framing nails. I got all my ropes, harnesses. I got multiple harnesses, multiple ropes, just because you never know who's going to be on your job site and they might not come prepared. So it's nice to have a bunch of extras. And way down there at the bottom's a radio, but on my job sites, I don't really run a radio. I mostly work alone now, uh, as most of you guys know. So I don't run the radio. I always have a one headphone or two headphones in, like I said, because I'm alone. So over here on this side, we got all my roof jacks, hard hat, leaf blower. I got two magnets right now, um, which I use very very um often i try to magnet as much as possible and you never want to leave a nail on a homeowner's job site it's just it's not professional and uh it's not good for your customers it's not good on your company it looks bad so also an air compressor there which josh was going to throw in the garbage i ended up taking it getting it repaired and now it's perfect as you can see it just needs two new gauges on the top uh box coils down there i always have an extra box in here uh, just in case you ever run short, I order a, a box for every job I go to, but sometimes you run short. So I always like to have those and then your standard gas and everything like that for the leaf blower. But, oh, I ah, forgot this bin too. I always, I always normally have two ladders. I normally have a 32 foot ladder and then this 24. Uh, I took the 32 off just cause driving around with a big ladder all the time is, uh, gets annoying you hear the wind noise all the time this bin here is just a uh, random miscellaneous there's some garbage in here um, you got your pry bar an extra hammer your uh, steel bender hand bender clobberine and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff but the reason why I wanted to go over this truck today is um, because the way you see this truck sitting now it's going to completely change in the next coming weeks. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm roofing on my own now. So I need to make this truck more compatible to work with my needs. So what's gonna happen is all, all these tools are gonna be uh, organized in a better situation. This tunnel cover, um, like, I, like this was my personal truck. I was using this for personal uses as well as roofing. So I had this tunnel cover because it was nice for me and my family to travel. We could put all our luggage in here and keep it dry. But it wasn't actually dry anyways because the seal uh, doesn't work with this uh, back rack liner. So it always leaked a little bit in there, but as long as I kept everything raised, it was pretty good. But uh, that's gonna come off. We're getting a full contractor rack over the cab and uh, one of those big greenly uh, tool bins, which is where all our uh, tools are gonna go. And, um, and I'm just gonna let you guys know, I was, <laughs> I was gonna keep it a secret with all this garbage, but I also got a dump trailer coming next week. Um, I'm getting tired of this. I've done multiple jobs by myself, took all my tools out of the job site, left to go to the dump, go back, gotta lower all the tools. It's just so much more work. So I ended up just giving in and uh, bought a dump trailer, so that garbage won't happen anymore but uh, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go inside the cab and this is what i get to look at every single day of the year so we're going to jump in here this is my captain's chair as you can see i'm up in the mirror there um always have my phone usually plugged in the reason it's always plugged in is because you never know when a homeowner is going to call you you always want to have your phone charged um, my business number is my personal number um, business cards always keep them on deck that way if a customer is ever or whatever somebody asks me at a gas station or whatever hey you got a card they're always right there um, I always got a tape measure under here as well that way if somebody needs a quick measurement neighbor or something I don't have to dig the whole back of my truck out to uh, go find a tape measure it's always handy um, down here is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff car cleaners, GoPro kits, everything like that. Um, I always have car seats in here. Like I said, it's my personal truck. So guys, that's it for my current truck setup. Stay tuned for a couple of weeks because like I said, this truck's gonna fully transform. We're also getting the dump trailer. Uh, I, a couple people have requested to actually see what my truck looks like. So now you guys know exactly what I'm working with right now. And remember guys, you don't have to start with this big elaborate $150,000 truck. You really don't need it. I started with this to begin with which was a 2007 equinox because i didn't have a driver's license until i was 21 so my wife was actually driving me around to job sites we had air compressors and that tools and that and every job site we were doing we were renting dumpsters and then i moved up to this truck which is an 07 dodge dakota 
and uh, it worked great uh, for the time being. I was running a crew of seven guys, two of the people drove, and five of them were in the truck. Um, so it was a full truck all the time, and it was just way too small for what I needed. So I decided to upgrade, but as I upgraded, I was also getting rid of all my guys because the quality of work wasn't there. I didn't like how my business was running at that point in time. So I decided to kind of reboot, reset, and now we're moving up to this. And once we got to this, now it's also not enough for me. So I'm upgrading again, which is not always a bad thing. It's good to start slow and just kind of build yourself up. You don't always have to start with the top of the line tools as much as everyone would want to do that and it's nice and it's great to have all this stuff you don't need it to start out guys anyways if you guys like this video be sure to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time